Now that the system is installed, give it an update with the Bionic Spike Interface, or BBI. Note that this software and tool are only available to authorized Bionics dealers and not Bionics end consumers. Here the system can be customized, the throttle calibration and strain gauge can be tested, and a service report can be printed indicating that the system is functioning well. You can save a copy of this report for your records, or copy and paste the console, battery, and motor serial numbers into your point of sale system. It is good practice to record the key number, but this can be found later as it is engraved on both the keys and the battery lock cylinder. All that's left is a quick test ride to make sure everything is working well. Please wear a helmet when operating a Bionics equipped bicycle. Always advise the customer to educate themselves on the functions and features of the system in a safe place before entering traffic conditions. Customers need to know how to get the most out of their system, so explain the importance of limiting assist and throttle use, keeping their tire pressure and cadence up, and what is reasonable range to expect under different riding conditions. Remind them to keep their battery charged, especially when not in use for long periods of time. Current Bionics 48 volt batteries must be charged once every six months as preventative maintenance in order to adhere to warranty policy, even though a fully charged battery can hold a charge up to 18 months. Bionic system should only be installed by authorized Bionics dealers. It is best to double check the following critical installation points. Does the console stay firmly in place on the console dock? Are the cables neat and not easily pulled? Does the battery slide easily? If you use countersunk screws, are they flush with the battery harness? Did you remember to add thread locking compound to the down tube harness bolts? For a conversion system, is the notch on the non-drive side of the motor axle pointing in the direction of 6 o'clock with the bike on the ground? Did you make sure the axle nuts are set to 40 newton meters or 30 foot pounds? Does the system engage and disengage generate mode easily when pulling the rear brake lever? Is the reed switch glued in the foam support? Did you double check all the connections?